Hello, trading is closed on January 24th, 2017. Once again, this week, I'm not playing with all my cards, but I'll still try to say something every night if I can. We said yesterday that we had a great chance to start a big drop. All we needed to do is to trade under this low, but that didn't happen. We also said that trading over this high would kill the pattern, and that's what did happen. I have a standard rule that if we gap up, that if we gap sharply in the undesired direction, the calls kill before the open. We gapped up, but it's not sharp enough for me. So we didn't have what we needed to start a big drop. <clears throat> we have the same situation at today's close. We have all we need to start a big drop, but we need to trade under today's low for confirmation. Here's the MeJT software. MeJT says the rally's false. Gives us a target of 2278.83. Well, that's not too far away. The significance is MeJT says we're not going to be off to the races and just rally tomorrow. It says there is a lower target. We have an all-day rally closed under the, mid of the middle of the day high, but also under the middle of the day low if not invalidated by by uh, promptly taking out today's high it's a negative pattern and should lead to lower prices tomorrow i'm expecting a pattern where the high is hit typically in the first hour of trading and we drop into the close so i think undercutting this low tomorrow is quite possible and it would be particularly negative if we gapped down and promptly took out this low because it would be confirmation this whole rally today was a false move. The wave count I have was invalidated, but there are other wave counts out there which say there's a high in place. I have a long-standing target of a high of this leg, but not of the whole bull market, around 2274.50 cash. We at one point, we're over it by about 10 points. That's a half of a percent. We're now over it by about five and a half points. That's really not enough to invalidate the target, which remains active. Here's the half a day chart. Earlier in the year, we had number 13 for a sequential sell signal. Um, here's the high of the bar that gave the signal, you can see that hasn't been invalidated. We're still in the area of the top, according to that. Today's action gave a new sell signal on the 130 minute chart. Here's, up here's number 13 of a combo sell. We still have a sequential sell which remains active. Here was the prior high, 2282.10. We went over that today, but we closed under it. The rule for a Trader Vic to be top is in an uptrend. Prices hit a new high and immediately go under the prior high instead of following through. The pattern's a sell with an entry under the low of, the, of this bar here. And that low is 2266.68. So if we trade at 2266.68, 0.67. It gives a sell according to that methodology in addition to the DeMarc methodology. MeJT looks for slightly lower prices tomorrow, but that's not a stop and reverse. It's a target. All we have to do to start a major drop is to undercut this low, and if we do it at the open, I'm not predicting we will, but if we do, it indicates for certain, this whole move was a false move, and the big drop should begin in earnest. If this holds, we still have sell signals which aren't following through. Let's see if that holds or if it breaks. That's today's call.